Hello and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to install Linux on a Chromebook using Crouton. Make sure you're in developer mode and then head over to the GitHub website and download the latest Crouton installer. Once that's done, press Ctrl, Alt and T to pop open a terminal and type in shell and hit enter. Type in this command which will be linked in the description below then hit enter. It's now going to go through and install this on your system and it may take a little while 10 to 20 minutes depending on your system. So we're going to fast forward this until it asks you for a username and a password. Okay, now choose what username you'd like. I'm just going to use Tyler and then specify which password for Unix and it'll ask you to retype it and then it'll ask you for a new Unix password, same one, type it again. Now that's done, if you type in sudo start xfce4 then hit enter, you'll be able to boot into your Linux XSCE distribution environment. Okay, I'm just going to use the default config which will leave me a panel up the top and a little panel at the bottom. And then I want to get rid of these icons on the home screen because the way Google partitions the hard drive is a bit weird. So I'm going to go up there, remove the file system and remove removable devices. Let's close that. Right, let's move them to the top left. All right, we want some programs. If you're not used to Linux, it would be wise to install the Ubuntu Software Center. So open a terminal inside of your XFCE type in sudo apt get install software hyphen center again all links will be left in the description below so you can just copy and paste them it will ask you for your password and then it will begin installing downloading the packages this could take a few minutes so we'll skip this and fast forward having this will mean you can download programs from the store without having to use the command line interface if you haven't used one before Okay, now that's done, let's go up top left to the applications menu. Go into system and then go down to Ubuntu Software Center. And this is where you can search for and install a program and go through categories. As you can see, it doesn't come with an Office program, so we're going to install LibreOffice, which is an alternative to Word. And it's good if you're offline on your Chromebook and you don't want to use Docs, you can just use this. I find it a better way than using Docs offline sort of service. So if you click install, it will ask you for your password. And then it will install it in a much more user friendly way for someone who's not used Linux before.
Okay, that's finished installing. Let's close up the software center and open up LibreOffice Writer, your Microsoft Word or your Google Docs alternative. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.